Hey everyone, last week we got a new inflation number and we heard from the Federal Reserve that, as expected, they aren't making a rate cut in June. But during the press conference, Chairman Powell did share some very valuable insights that will likely impact commercial real estate investors. First of all, according to the Federal Reserve dot plot, and based on a lot of the comments during the press conference, there's still a high likelihood of at least one rate cut this year. Of course, there were a lot of caveats placed on that speculation, with Chairman Powell reiterating multiple times that they're going to have to see what the data tells them. But once again, the intonation of the commentary suggested that at least one rate cut is still on the table for 2024. And Wall Street is currently assigning a 93% likelihood that the Fed will reduce rates by at least 25 basis points by the end of the year. When Chairman Powell was pressed on the timing of a rate cut, he made a very important statement. He said, we're well aware of the two-sided risks. If we wait too long, that could come at the cost of economic activity and employment. If we move too quickly, we could undo the good we've done and have to start over. That suggests to me that a rate cut in July is very unlikely because we only get one more set of economic readings before the July meeting, and that likely won't be enough to move the needle with the Fed. But if we continue to see signs of weakening inflation, similar to the reading we received last week, then a rate cut in September seems reasonably likely. We'll get three more inflation readings before the September Fed meeting, as well as three more sets of job numbers, and we'll also get the second quarter GDP reading. If all of those, or even most of those, are in the target range, then a rate cut could be in the cards and Wall Street is currently assigning a 60% likelihood of there being at least one rate cut by the end of September. And that one rate cut would be really important for commercial real estate investors. I understand that a 25 basis point rate reduction wouldn't materially affect interest rates per se, but it would make a statement to the market that could meaningfully shift the investor psyche. As Chairman Powell said, the whole rate path matters. And when we do start to loosen policy, that will show up in a significant loosening of financial market conditions. Now that statement was speculative in nature. Obviously it wasn't a guarantee that one rate reduction could shift the entire financial climate. But a single rate cut by the Federal Reserve would make a clear statement to the market. It would say that the Fed believes inflation is under control and the risk of additional tightening is likely off the table. That's a big difference in perspective from where we've been. As far as further Fed action after September goes, I honestly don't think the Fed will cut rates on November 7th, two days after the presidential election. And while a rate cut on December 18th is possible, that would also depend on a multitude of factors, including whether there are any ongoing election challenges. Even though Chairman Powell has clearly stated that they're not factoring the election into their rate policies, the Fed has also historically tended to avoid making policy decisions when there's a lot of uncertainty. With regard to the inflation data that came out last week, the headline rate for May was 3.3% on a year-over-year -year basis, down from 3.4% the month prior and 3.5% in March. So it looks like we're getting past the little first quarter inflation bounce that put the rate cuts everyone was expecting at the beginning of the year on hold. And by the same token, we saw core CPI inflation decline to 3.4% in May, which is the lowest reading we've seen on that metric since April 2021. It does look like the falling inflation trend is reasserting. At the same time, we're still seeing positive economic momentum. Job creation over the last three months has averaged about 250,000 new jobs per month, and the unemployment rate is a still low 4%. In addition, we're still seeing solid retail sales growth numbers and the GDP forecast for 2024 remains at a solid 2.3%. 
So in a nutshell, economic momentum remains positive and it looks like inflation is going the right direction, which suggests the interest rate climate could improve for commercial real estate investors later this year. Based on what I'm seeing, it looks like commercial real estate investor activity is already beginning to pick up. It's a little early to make a definitive statement, but I am seeing more investors re-engage the market. If the current economic trend holds and the Fed does cut rates by September, it's possible we could see a substantive revival of investor activity beginning in the fourth quarter. No promises. Of course, there are still a lot of variables in play, but it seems like the momentum is shifting. That said, investors still need to keep their eyes on the horizon.